Hello, welcome to Aussie Targets. Uh, this is just taking you through the new feature in uh, development version 1.4.8.3. So, in our waypoint tools here, uh, when we make a new waypoint, uh, first thing to note is the naming scheme up here. If, for example, I was setting up a number of hesitation waltzes, if I set the first one up as hesitation waltz 1, and I pick it on the map. When I do my second one, um, pick from map, click, it now automatically changes it to dash 2, pick from map, dash 3, dash 4. So that's quite handy. And obviously, if you were punching these coordinates in by hand from a task sheet, same thing, you don't have to worry about changing the name for each one. Uh, which is very helpful. Obviously, similar thing if I was going for JDG number one, I'll just pick from the map. We get JDG one, JDG two, yeah. and three. <coughs> so that's a little time saving thing during the briefing. Um, second thing to note here is the display format. At the moment, it's set up to use the default. Um, that means that it's using the default setting. Now obviously this is a bit you know, nasty to look at. Uh, in another video I've gone through how you can actually change your settings for this and make them your defaults. But we've now got the option in the tool here to just do this on the fly. So if I turn default off and I dial that size up to something nice and big, so say I, I want my judge declare goals to be green, now when I make a new judge declare goal, I get that. And uh, and obviously you have the option of, of doing this by marker color or you know anything like that that's going to be helpful for you. So uh, so you can very quickly you know change it to a red marker, white foreground, and uh, and away you go. So that's the big change. Uh, this will record whether or not you're uh, using your default or if you want to use these custom setups here. And just another way to, uh, I suppose, streamline getting this data in during a flight briefing. As always, uh, you've got the option of setting up this MMA radius if you need to. Uh, so I'll just make a new one here and that will put that uh, that circle on there for you. It's in meters and uh, you can also get the map to center on your goal when you make a new one. So there we go. Uh, that's the new tools in the latest development version. Thanks for watching.